Karnak Temple, pillars built by pharaohs. Construction of Karnak Temple started in the Middle Kingdom but those pillars and obelisks were built later in the New Kingdom. The Great Hypostyle Hall covers an area of 5,000 meters. The roof, now fallen, was supported by 134 columns in 16 rows. The two middle rows are higher than the others. The 134 papyrus columns represent the primeval papyrus swamp from which Autumn, a self-created deity, arose from the waters of Nun at the beginning of creation. The hall was not constructed by Hormhabe, or Amenhotep III as earlier scholars had thought but was built entirely by Seti I who engraved the northern wing of the hall with inscriptions. Decoration of the southern wing was completed by the 19th dynasty pharaoh Ramesses II. Only three obelisks still stand from the original 20. The construction of the temple in Karnak started in the Middle Kingdom when the ruler of Egypt was called king. There were no pharaohs at that time. But this great hypostyle hall, those pillars and obelisks were built later in the New Kingdom when the ruler of Egypt was called Pharaoh. This was known recently, however this was portrayed in the Quran 1400 years before it was discovered. <laughs> كذبت قبلهم قوم نوح وعاد وفرعون ذو الأوتاد. أوتاد means stakes or pillars. Pharaoh of pillars. Today we know that the title of Pharaoh was given to the rulers in the New Kingdom, not before. Although the construction of Karnak started in the Middle Kingdom when there were no pharaohs, pillars and obelisks were built later in the New Kingdom by pharaohs. Conclusion. The Quran is filled with stories about past nations, with its author consistently demonstrating accurate knowledge of the unseen at different times and places in history. This is not a quality of human beings, but rather the divine. The Quran proclaims that God Almighty himself revealed such knowledge. <laughs>